is back to the drawing board in Albany for a bill that would provide buses for children whose parents are too sick to take them to school. Now, supporters say it's a no-brainer. So why does it get kicked to the curb year after year? CBS 2's Carolyn Gustav has the exclusive details. My disease is extremely severe. Tara Notrika battles a rare hematological disease. I was 100 pounds and on a feeding tube. All while battling on another front, fighting with her school district for bus service. Undergoing a stem cell transplant, she couldn't walk or drive her children. But living within the half mile cutoff, they were not entitled to busing. The Merrick School District repeatedly turned her down. If there was an exception, done for one child that it would have to be for other students as well. Finally, she prevailed, granted a rare exception, but she's still fighting to spare other chronically ill and disabled parents with young children. A bill to authorize districts to make busing exceptions has gone nowhere for years. I just thought that this was just a really simple thing, that if someone needed busing to get their child to school that it would be provided. Amy Mogul with a neurological disorder lived two houses too close to the school for her five-year-old son to get the bus. He's now 20. She says she's trying to right a wrong. And unfortunately it hasn't yet worked. School districts cite concerns over costs. The director of the Nassau Suffolk School Boards Association asks where will funding come from and what's their liability if they accept one child over another. Supporters say extensive medical documentation will guard against abuses. At the end of the day, it's about making sure that the kids arrive safely at home, understanding that not everybody is equally equipped to get them there. We need to make sure that they are safe and secure and have a consistent way of getting to and from school. Notrika says she'll fight on for consistency and compassion. In Merrick, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. The bill did pass in the New York State Senate last year, but not the Assembly. A new version is now under consideration this year. Up